Hey guys, welcome back to Summer Rainy Vlogs. I'm Summer and if you are new here, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can stay updated on all my future videos. Also, follow my social medias. I'll leave the links down below. Okay guys, so in my last video, I showed you guys how to make a face mask from beginning to end. Since then, a lot of you guys have been inboxing me, asking me to make a tutorial on how to make a face mask with a filter pocket. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to do just that. So guys, I'm not gonna be starting from scratch. I'm gonna start from the point where you would insert the filter pocket. So if you wanna see how I got to this point, you can watch my last video. I'll leave the link to it in the description box below. So let's get into the video. Okay guys, I don't know if you guys can hear the rain or not, but it is raining cats and dogs out there. It sounds amazing, but never mind that for now. So here we are at this point. This is the point that I want you to be at when we're getting ready for the the pocket filter. This is what it will look like. What I want you to do is fold over one side, doesn't matter which side, over about a good half an inch. So what you wanna do is go ahead and give that a little press. What you're doing at this point is just creating a nice finish that's off so it can look good from the other side so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my sewing machine okay so we ironed our flap down we're gonna go ahead and sew it down at one quarter of an inch we're gonna go ahead and move our main fabric out of the way so we won't sew it to it and we're gonna go ahead and start sewing so here I am at my one quarter inch line I'm gonna go ahead and back stitch a bit and then one straight strip all the way down at the end and that's that okay so I use black thread so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing here and we're gonna move to the next step okay so our next step is to sew our lining fabric and our main fabric together we're gonna start at the top here and we're gonna sew it at one quarter of an inch all the way from one side all the way up around the nose down and to the other side down here Okay, so now we're gonna sew the bottom. Okay, so this is what the mask will look like when you sew the top, you sew the bottom, and you sew the clean finish for your pocket. The next step is to go ahead and flip your whole mask right side out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it. And then we're at this point. This is where you can go ahead and give your mask a good press. Now we're gonna go ahead and close the mask and give it one good press all together. Okay guys, so first we're gonna work from the side with the pocket. This end right here, I'm gonna go ahead and fold it over one quarter of an inch just so that it can have a clean finish. And you can go ahead and press that down. I went ahead and folded it one more time. And this fold is going to accommodate the width of the elastic that I'm using. I'm using 3 8 so when you are folding this part over, you're gonna fold it to accommodate whatever width elastic that you're using. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold it underneath my pocket flap here. I'm gonna kinda just tuck it in. Press that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pin it and sew that down. 
Okay guys, so you want to go ahead and move the lining out of the way so that you can go ahead and sew down this little flap here. So let me just make mine a little better. You're just going to edge stitch it. So when you're all done, it'll look just like this and your pocket flap will be over it. And on the opposite side, it will look just like this. I know it doesn't match. Do not roast me in the comments. I only use black for this tutorial. So now for the other side, we're just gonna go ahead and flip it over one time again for a clean finish. And then you're gonna go ahead and fold it over the lining fabric. And again, the amount of length that you're folding it over is to accommodate your elastic side. You wanna go ahead and press this down and let's head back to the machine. Okay guys, so again, we're only doing an edge stitch. Okay, so this is the finished product. This is what it will look like from the opposite side. This is what it looked like from the inside. However, now you have your insert right here for your filter. So this is a little filter that I made. I don't know the name of it, so when I find out the name, I will leave it in the description. So as you can see, I sewed it to where it can open up, just like your standard medical mask. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and slip our filter into our mask. And that's that guys. So here we are. Our mask with extra protection because we have our filter in there. Okay, so the last thing to do is to slide your elastic through the ends here and then we're all done. Okay, so for the sake of time, I already put my elastic through. If you wanna know how I did that, you can look at my last video and I will leave that link below. And this mask is designed to go around your whole head, but if you want it to go behind your ears, it's the exact same process. So instead of it coming out of here to go to the other side, you would just run it through, make it come around, and then just link the elastic. Okay guys, so that was it. I hope you guys found this video to be very easy and very informational. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can stay updated on all my future videos. Follow my social medias, I'll have them linked down below. And guys, please share this video. I'm about to go have Taco Tuesday on a video conference call with my friends. Teen quarantine life. So you guys, enjoy your day. I love you, have a good one. Hey guys, my baby wanted to join the video. Is there something you wanted to say, baby? And I just wanted to say good night. Say goodbye. Bye, baby. Bye bye. Your turn. Yeah, goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Click the next video.